China's independent research and development of semiconductor equipment has become one of the topics that have attracted much attention in recent years. Faced with the suppression and restrictions of the United States, China is taking active actions and has received the support of the Dutch ASML company. This video will analyze this topic and further explore this competition in the semiconductor field and its impact on the global industrial landscape. Under the suppression of the United States, China independently develops semiconductor equipment. Since the entire economic system entered the new era, China has achieved remarkable achievements. However, the United States has always regarded China as a thorn in its side, trying to restrict and suppress China's development through various means. Among them, the semiconductor industry has become their key care object. Especially in the export of chips and semiconductors, the United States has made clear regulations prohibiting sales to China. This has forced many suppliers to sever ties with China. China began to independently develop semiconductor equipment and show its strength to the world. Facing the pressure from the United States, the Dutch ASML company recently expressed its views. The company's CEO believes that China's independent research and development of semiconductor equipment is reasonable and reasonable because China's development in the semiconductor field has formed a chain reaction. At the same time, he expressed confidence in the prospects of his company and believed that in the next period of time, the company will launch more advanced lithography machines, and more lithography machines will also be available. At the same time, the Dutch government stated that it would not choose to follow the United States, but chose to support China's semiconductor development. Such a statement has obvious practical significance. For China, the support of ASML in the Netherlands is undoubtedly of great help and support. The competition and impact of China's independent research and development of semiconductor equipment. Semiconductor devices are at the heart of computer chip manufacturing. Facing pressure from Washington, Dutch government officials said they would not go with the United States. Every country has its own development goals. If we blindly regard other people's ideas as the country's ideas, it may affect the country's development. For the Netherlands, the development of chips is its main goal, so the choice must take into account its own interests and will not obey the orders of the United States. At the same time, the CEO expressed his low opinion of the U.S. semiconductor export ban. He believes that such measures are unnecessary and not worth following. Any form of export control has a negative impact on the development of enterprises, restricts innovation, and also affects the efficient operation of enterprises. A spokesman for China's Ministry of Commerce also said that China cannot easily succumb to the sanctions. These sanctions are not only ineffective, but will damage the recovery and development of the world economy. Independent research and development of semiconductors is the only way for China, and it is also one of China's important strategies in the future industry. ASML of the Netherlands expressed its support for China's independent research and development of semiconductor equipment.
This statement will provide more support for China's semiconductor equipment industry and will also inject more vitality into the development of the world's semiconductor industry. All countries have their own development plan, and this plan may not always be the same as the will of some countries. Therefore, the country's development plan should not be equated with the ideas of other countries. In the face of sanctions and suppression, China needs to strengthen its confidence and move forward according to its own plan and route.